because this is one thing I talked with Helms about back in uh, oof, 2013 or so it might have been where it's like in the off season, eh, like the, the fat and carb distribution of um, don't quote me on this, but this is kind of my understanding of it now or when I think about it with what he mentioned, where it's not as important as when you're dieting, where it's like, if, as long as your protein, you hit your protein target, the fats and carbs can kind of fluctuate to some extent in the off season and then not be such a detriment um, as say, if you're dieting, where it's like from a performance standpoint as well, right? Or hormonal. Yeah, no, I, I, I completely agree with that. Um, okay. I do like to keep a higher carb approach in my off season. Um, not as, I mean, it, it gets a little bit tricky when you're on like 600 grams of carbs, but you'll, you'll be surprised what high carbs you can get in and keep your fats down. Uh, so I do tend to try and keep it for potentially some of those benefits in terms of like slightly better for nutritional partitioning, slightly better for recovery performance. Maybe it's more insulinogenic, which is essentially anti-catabolic, potentially a little bit anabolic. Do I think it's doing a whole, a whole lot? Uh, no, but when I see people's fats, uh, really kind of start going up in their uh, massing phases, generally they're eating not the best sources. They get lots of saturated fats. They're having lots of cookies, pastries, like they're getting lots of saturated fats from like sausages, cheese, like burgers, pizzas, right. chips, this sort of thing. It's unlikely a lot of people are eating like high fats and getting like loads of nuts, nut butters, avocado, salmon, eggs, this sort of thing where they're more appropriate ones to be having more of. So uh, the other thing I notice as well is fat slow down digestion a lot. And so if I find my fats go kind of uh, too high, digestion is just, I, I find I'm just too full. Like, I, like it's like my meal is still sat in my stomach. Whereas if I have higher carbs and my fats are more moderate, kind of the food just moves through a little bit quicker and I can kind of get more in that way as well. Yeah. So in that scenario, essentially it's like your body's deloading, like your lifestyle's deloading for you and it's forcing your body to deload because you're just not going to have productive training sessions for that sort of thing. So I'd be like, there's no point trying to like go into the gym, push to failure and you're underperforming to last week. Like that's not productive training in my books and you're probably risking.